hello friends welcome back to my channel in today's session we will learn about optical fiber in terms of its definition introduction working principle structure of optical fiber and modes of operation modes of propagation so uh, let's see the definition of optical fiber an optical fiber is a cylindrical waveguide made of transparent dielectric materials gloss or plastic which guides light waves along its length by total internal reflection. That means we can say that the optical fiber is a cylindrical wave guide which is made from dielectric materials like glass and plastic. And we can send light waves from total internal reflection ke principle se sakte hai, guide kar sakte hai. It is very thin like human hair. Approximately its thickness is about 70 micrometer or 0 0.03 inch uh, is its diameter. And the thin strand of a metal is called a wire and a thin strand of dielectric material is called a fiber. Now let us see the introduction part of optical fiber. Light transmission phenomena through TIR that means total internal reflection was demonstrated by a British physicist John Tyndall in 1870. He stated that light can be guided along the curve of a stream of water. Due to total internal reflections, light gets confined to the water stream and the stream appears luminous. A luminous water stream can be considered as an optical fiber. In 1950s, the transmission of images through optical fiber was realized in practice. And this is the uh, demonstration of John Tyndall uh, that, was that is demonstrate, uh, demonstrated in 1870. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the uh, light source. लाइट सोर्स जब यहां से इस बर्तन पर पड़ती है तो इस बर्तन से निकलने के लिए यहां एक होल है और ये क्या है दिस इज द वाटर स्ट्रीम अब ये लाइट सोर्स इस बर्तन की इस होल से इंटरनल पार्ट से बाहर निकलता है और इस वाटर स्ट्रीम के साथ इस प्रकार हम देख पा रहे हैं इस यहां पर इस बाउंड्री पर स्ट्रीम के बाउंड्री पर ये इंटर टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन के द्वारा इस दूसरे डायरेक्शन में ये बेंड हो गया फिर यहां से टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन के द्वारा नीचे बेंड हुआ फिर उसके बाद हम देख रहे हैं लाइट रेज यहां से आ, वाटर स्ट्रीम से बाहर एस्केप कर जाती है और यहां से लेके यहां तक की जो लाइट वाटर स्ट्रीम है वो लुमिनस फील होती है ड्यू टू दिस टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट रेज लाइट रेज इज कंफाइंड इन दिस वाटर स्ट्रीम एंड दिस इज द बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन uh, which helps uh, in the development of optical fiber. The first commercial fiber optic installation was in for telephone signals and that was uh, installed in Chicago in 1976. The first long distance towards uh, uh, networks uh, were operated in the early 1980s and by 1985 most of today's basic technology was developed and uh, being installed in the fiber optic networks that now handle virtually all long distance communications. Today you can find uh, fiber optics used in very variety of applications such as medical environment to the broadcasting industry. It is used to transmit voice images and data signals through small flexible threads of gloss or plastic and which is optical fiber. Now we have a question why we use optical fiber that means we ye keh sakte hain ki hamare paas dusre aur uh, means hain uh, applications ke liye to why fiber optical fiber to let's say why optical fiber optical fiber is least expensive most reliable reliable method for high speed and can be used for long distance communications. Due to this reasons, uh, optical fiber is used. Now let us see the principle of optical fiber by which light rays is guided through optical fiber. 
light propagate in optical fiber from one of its end to the other end is based on the principle of total internal reflection. When light enters one end of the fiber, it undergoes successive total internal reflection from side walls that means from core cladding interface and travels down the length of the fiber along a zigzag path. A small fraction of light may escape through side walls but a major fraction emerges out from the exit end of the fiber. Light can travel through fiber even if it is bent and this figure shows the uh, uh, light transmission through optical fiber. Here we can see this is the light ray which is launched in optical fiber and, and at this wall uh, light is light gets total internal uh, total uh, reflected uh, totally reflected and uh, from here also it gets totally reflected in this way light uh, comes out at the output end of the optical fiber in this figure the this blue color shows the uh, core of the optical fiber and this part shows the cladding part of the optical fiber and this phenomena is what total internal reflection let us so see sorry let us see what is total internal reflection a medium having a low refre lower refractive index is called rare medium while a medium having higher refractive index is known as denser medium when ray of light passes from denser medium to rare medium it is bent away from the normal in the rare medium let us see this is the denser medium and this is the rare medium and the refractive index of denser medium is n1 and refractive index of rare medium is n2 and this is the normal and this is the incident ray and uh, some part of incident ray is partially reflected uh, into denser medium and uh, some part of uh, incident rays is reflected into rarer medium and here we can see then the reflected light is uh, bent away uh, away from the normal and this is the incident angle uh, here incident angle is theta i and this is the angle of refraction and here angle of refraction is uh, theta r and let us see if we increase the angle of incidence that means when we increase the value of theta i such that that it equals a certain value of uh, angle and which is theta c then in this condition in this condition angle of refraction is equal to 90 degree in this condition angle of uh, incidence is called critical angle that means we can say that when angle of incidence is a certain value uh, then uh, angle for which uh, angle of incidence for which uh, angle of refraction is 90 degree is called critical angle now let us see uh, through another figure if uh, when we increase uh, theta i uh, theta i uh, as greater than theta c then the in this condition light ray totally reflected back into denser medium and it does not uh, uh, reflect it into rare medium and this condition is called total internal reflection that means hum ye keh sakte hain ki jab light ray totally same medium pe reflect ho jati hai to use hum total internal reflection kehte hain aur ye kab possible hoti hai jab ye angle of incidence ki value theta c se arthat critical angle se zyada hoti hai let's see if theta i is less than theta c the ray reflects into the rarer medium jaisa ki humne figure mein dekh chuke hain and if theta i is equal to theta c the ray just grazes along interface of rarer denser medium as we have already seen in figure and if theta i is greater than theta c the ray is reflected back into the denser medium and this uh, phenomena is uh, seen uh, this uh, phenomena is shown in figure number 3 the phenomena in which light is totally reflected back from a denser to rarer medium boundary is known as the total internal reflection this is the definition of total internal reflection 
there is there is that experience total internal reflection obey the laws of reflection and therefore the critical angle can be determined from snell's law and this is all about for total internal reflection now let us see uh, the critical angle that means here we will uh, see that what is critical angle and what is the measure of uh, critical angle as already we have known that what is critical angle it is the uh, value of incidence angle for which angle of reflection is 90 degree and uh, from figure according to snell's law we can write n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 when theta 1 is equal to theta c then theta 2 is 90 degree it is clear from figure and we have already described therefore from the above equation we get n1 अब यहां थीटा 1 की जगह हम थीटा c पुट कर दिए एंड थीटा 2 की जगह में हमने 92 90 डिग्री पुट कर दिए देन n1 sin थीटा c is equal to n2 sin 90 डिग्री सो so, 90 डिग्री की वैल्यू होती है 1 देयरफॉर ये हो जाएगा इसकी वैल्यू n2 के इक्वल हो जाएगी देयरफॉर sin थीटा c is equal to n2 by n1 एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्रिटिकल एंगल and when the rare medium is air that means a light ray jo air rare medium hai wo air hai to us case mein kyunki air ki refractive index 1 hoti hai to yahan n2 ki value 1 ho jayegi and then we get sin theta c is equal to 1 by n1 and from these two equation we can find the angle of uh, critical angle now let us see the structure of optical fiber there are three coaxial parts of optical fiber first one is core second one is cladding and third one is sheath it is also called outer covering or buffer layer this figure shows the structure of optical fiber here we can see that uh, optical fiber is cylindrical in shape and this inner part is core then middle part is cladding and this outer part is sheath here we can see that the uh, diameter of core is from 5 to 60 micrometer and uh, diameter of uh, cladding material is 100 to 150 micrometer and uh, diameter of outer layer or sheath is 125 to 750 micrometer now let us see about core Core is what? The innermost cylindrical region of optical fiber is known as the core and uh, it is the light guiding region. Athar, core hi wah part hai jiske through light jo hai aage badhti hai through total internal reflection. In general, the diameter of the core is of the order of 5 micrometer to 60 micrometer. And let's see about cladding. The core is surrounded by a coaxial medial region known as the cladding and the diameter of the cladding is of the order of 125 micrometer. The refractive index of cladding uh, is always lower than that of core. अर्थात हम यह कह सकते हैं कि जो optical fiber में cladding material है उसकी refractive index हमेशा core material की refractive index से कम होती है. It protects the fiber from physical damage and absorbing surface contaminants. It prevents the leakage of light energy from the fiber. Sheath. The outermost region is called the sheath or a protective buffer coating. This coating is applied during the manufacturing process to provide physical and environmental protection from the fiber. The buffer is elastic in nature and prevents abrasions. The coating vary in size from 150 micrometer to 900 micrometer. Now let us see about modes of propagation. When the light ray is guided through an optical fiber, it propagates in different types of modes. Each of these guided modes consists of a 
वेराइटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड कॉन्फिग्रेशन जैसे ट्रांसवर्स इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रांसवर्स मैग्नेटिक एंड हाइब्रिड मोड्स हाइब्रिड मोड्स आर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ट्रांसवर्स इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक मोड्स इन सिंपल टर्म्स दिस मोड्स कैन बी विजुलाइज एज द पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ अलाउड पार्ट ऑफ लाइट इन वन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर एज सोन इन फिगर दिस इज द दिस फिगर शोज द गाइडिंग ऑफ लाइट वेस हियर वी कैन से दैट दिस लाइट रे प्रोपोगेट्स इन दिस पाथ एंड दिस टू लाइट रेस प्रोपोगेट्स इन डिफरेंस पाथ and this all paths is called uh, modes and this is the one mode and this is the another mode and this is the uh, another one more mode and in this this region is called core and this is the uh, outer layer uh, middle layer cladding all the paths are zigzag paths excepting the axial direction from this figure it is clear that all paths are zigzag and uh, light rays ये एक्सेल रीजन वाला जो पाथ है उसको छोड़कर बाकी सभी रीजन क्या होंगे जिग जैग द रेज हैविंग प्रोपोगेशन एंगल्स बिटवीन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो डिग्री एंड थीटा इज इक्वल थीटा सी विल बी इन पोजिशन टू अंडर गो टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन ऑल ऑफ देम विल नॉट हाउ एवर प्रोपोगेट एलॉन्ग द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर All zigzag ray gets, as zigzag ray gets repeatedly reflect at the core cladding cladding interface, interface phase shift occurs. जब सभी zigzag rays core cladding interface से रिफ्लेक्ट uh, होते हैं तो उन सभी रेज में फेस शिफ्ट प्राप्त हो जाती है द वे ट्रेवलिंग एलॉन्ग सर्टेन जिग जैग रे पास विल बी इन फेस एंड अंडर गो कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफेरेंस इंटरफेरेंस अब इस फेस शिफ्ट प्राप्त होने के कारण कुछ पाथ में चलने वाले लाइट रे सभी सेम फेस में होते हैं और सेम फेस में होने के कारण उनमें कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफेरेंस हो जाती है जबकि कुछ दूसरे पाथ में ट्रेवल करने वाले लाइट रेस आउट ऑफ फेस में हो जाती हैं जिसके कारण उसमें डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफेरेंस हो जाती है और वो एक दूसरे को नष्ट कर देते हैं द लाइट रे पाथ एलॉन्ग विच द वेवस आर इन फेस इन साइड द फाइबर आर नोन एज मोड्स अर्थात मोड्स क्या है इट इज लाइट रे पाथ एलॉन्ग विच द वेव्स आर इन फेस ऑन साइड द फाइबर आर नोन एज मोड्स अर्थात हम ये कह सकते हैं कि वह लाइट रे पाथ जिसमें लाइट रे आप ऑप्टिकल फाइबर के अंदर सेम फेस में होते हैं उस पाथ को हम मोड्स कहते हैं इंक्रीजिंग द कोर रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स इंक्रीजेज द नंबर ऑफ प्रोपगेटिंग मोड्स अर्थात कोर के रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स बढ़ाकर हम जो प्रोपोगेटिंग मोड्स की संख्या है उसको बढ़ा सकते हैं Increasing the cladding refractive index, decreasing the number of propagating modes. लेकिन यदि cladding के refractive index बढ़ाया जाए तो number of modes की संख्या भी decrease होती है The number of modes depends on the ratio of d by lambda. अर्थात number of जो modes की संख्या है वो d by lambda पर भी depend करती है Where d is what? ये d is the diameter of core and lambda is the wavelength of the light wave. The zero order ray travels along the axis and is known as the axial ray. That means जो light rays axis के direction में travel करती है उसे हम axial ray कहते हैं या फिर इसको हम zero order mode भी कहते हैं Note that each mode carries a portion of the light from the input signal. Let us see the types of modes. The modes that propagate at angle क्लोज टू द क्रिटिकल एंगल थीटा सी और हाइर आर्डर मोड दैट मीन एक टाइप है हाइर आर्डर मोड और हाइर आर्डर मोड क्या है जो मोड क्रिटिकल एंगल के क्लोज एंगल पे प्रोपोगेट होती है उसे हम हाइर आर्डर मोड कहते हैं और दूसरा टाइप्स होती है जिसे हम लोअर आर्डर मोड कहते हैं और ये क्या है द मोड्स दैट प्रोपोगेट विथ एंगल लार्जर देन द क्रिटिकल एंगल और लोअर आर्डर मोड In case of lower order modes, the fields are concentrated near the center of the fiber. हम ये अर्थात lower order के केस में क्या होता है Light rays जो है ज्यादातर fiber के center की ओर अर्थात axis की ओर axial 
रीजन में कंसेंट्रेटेड होती है बट इन केस ऑफ हायर आर्डर मोड्स द फील्ड आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड मोर टूअर्ड द एज ऑफ द वेव गाइड अर्थात हायर आर्डर मोड में जो लाइट रे है वह ज्यादातर वेव गाइड के एज की ओर किनारे की ओर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड होती है कंसेंट्रेटेड होती है एंड इन दिस केस लाइट जो इन दिस मोड जो हायर आर्डर मोड के केस में लाइट रेस की टेंडेंसी जो है क्लेडिंग की ओर स्क्रेप करने की होती है और इसमें से दिस एनर्जी इज लॉस्ट अल्टीमेटली द हायर आर्डर मोड्स हैव टू ट्रावर्स लॉन्गर पाथ्स एंड हैंस टेक लॉन्गर टाइम लार्जर टाइम देन द लोअर आर्डर मोड्स टू कवर ए गिवन लेंथ ऑफ द फाइबर दस the higher the order modes arrive at the output end of the fiber later than the lower order modes kyunki higher order mode zyada distance cover karti hai compared to lower order mode isliye usko fiber ke output tak aane mein zyada time leta hai compared to lower order mode and this figure shows the various modes of optical fiber here we can see this uh, this mode shows lower order mode and this mode shows higher order mode mode here we can see that uh, here uh, the angle uh, of incidence is very close to critical angle and in this case in lower order mode case the angle of incidence at core cladding interface is greater than much greater than to critical angle and this is the zero order mode zero order mode matlab uh, mode which travels Uh, 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 along the axial axis uh, axial direction of optical fiber so so this is the zero order mode hello friends if you have any queries then please ask through comment box and if if you have not subscribed till now then please subscribe to get the notification of every new videos thank you friends thank you again